Hello friends, today we will see the designing of a logic circuit in Logisim. So this is the topic from digital logic and uh, so here basically what we are going to do first of all we will see uh, which tool can be used for designing a given logic expression. So Logisim is the tool. This is the tool which was developed uh, for educational purpose and wherein we can design or simulate our digital logic circuits. Uh, the Logisim basically can be installed in Mac OS as well as Windows operating systems but the prerequisite is the Java version 5 or later. And in Logisim, we find various components also, uh, such as input and output gates, multiplexer, arithmetic circuits, flip flops, and RAM memory. So these are the inbuilt components which can be used in while designing the uh, circuits in Logisim. So from where we can obtain this Logisim software? So the first URL uh, is basically uh, here we can get the details about the Logisim. And the second URL, uh, the, from here we can obtain the actual uh, setup for the Logisim. So basically it will be a jar file that you need to just download and double click on that jar file and after that you will find this user interface of Logisim. So we can see uh, the Logisim will look like this wherein on the left pane you will see the different folders wherein the components different components for designing the logic circuits are available okay so friends in this video we will try to implement this given uh, logic expression y is equals to a b plus c d plus e okay so let's move to the logisim i have already installed in my system so here the logic expression is a b plus c d plus e so as we can see in the logisim interface on the uh, top uh, you are finding some of the icons over here okay so here we can see this is the arrow symbol then uh, the text uh, uh, if you want to include some text in your circuit that you can use this option and then this important thing is there this is add pin so this is uh, basically the input pin right that we will use uh, in uh, while designing the circuit thus the circle symbol in green color is the uh, output pin and you can see some of the gates are also available over here nine gate and gate and or gate so these are the some of the symbols which are available in this pane uh, whereas you can also find these symbols why in just expanding these folders also right so suppose you are looking for the gates so under this gates folder you just expand this so we can see different types of gates are available we can see we need to simply select one of the gate which is required for designing the circuit and simply drag it onto this blank space right so i will just uh, design the given circuit over here Similarly, you can find other options also under this wiring folder. You can find pins and uh, this is the input pin. Okay, and pro tunnel clock clock is basically used while designing uh, counters uh, flip flops. So these many options are available which can be utilized in uh, while designing a circuit. Then in multiplexer components are also available. So here multiplexer, demultiplexer, decoder, priority encoders are also available under this plexers folder. And for arithmetic operations, um, 
we need to just expand this arithmetic folder we can use the adder the input adder we can simply click and drag onto this uh, blank is screen uh, and uh, it can be used right similarly subtractor multiplexer divider negator sifter bit adder and bit finder are also available now coming to the moving to the next option which is memory so here you will find all types of flip flops like d flip flop t flip flop jksr and also register and counter also right and is uh, uh, how to implement uh, design a ram or the rom also okay so uh, from this memory option we can choose uh, these components uh, in our design right then coming to the input output so here you will find different types of other options like button you can include in your um, uh, the, uh, circuit led light also you can use so basically this is used while designing a multiplexer okay and uh, same in segment display also can be designed so in that this component can be taken um, here and uh, finally we can implement the circuits okay so we will see one by one uh, uh, other options also we'll explore in our subsequent videos so currently uh, we are going to implement the given logic expression y uh, y is equals to uh, a b plus c d plus e okay so let's start so now uh, for implementing that circuit we require how many gates okay so simply uh, we can go to this gates so what is the requirement for that we require two and gates right for a b one gate uh, one and gate and for c d another gate right and for adding the a b plus c d we require or gate okay so two and gate and one or gate is required so how to do that simply click on this and gate drag it onto the screen similarly take the another and gate right and we can take one or gate also over here and drag it over here okay, you can put at the appropriate place so right now we can see these uh, blue dots it means a number of uh, input pins okay which are available to this gate so by default five pins are available right but uh, to implement our logic expression we need only two pins right two input gate we required so uh, this option can be changed just click on this gate itself and under this selection option we can simply uh, change the number of inputs okay so we will change this to two similarly we will do for the another uh, other gate also other end gate so here number of pins i will change it to two okay and now these two pins are available right uh, these two inputs are available the, these two blue dots are available so now we need to uh, connect the inputs also okay to these gates so we will take the input pin we can choose the option from here or you can also choose from the wiring option here pin is available right so we are going from the option given over here we will take input pin i will just take and just click over here and just press drag it over here okay similarly because two inputs are required so i'll take two pins similarly for the other gate also two inputs are required i'll take two pins two input pins right and this circle one uh, as you can see so this is used uh, as a output pin right so now we need to connect these uh, inputs to these uh, these pins basically we need to connect to these inputs right so we will uh, just hover our mouse uh, here so you can see a red circle okay it means uh, here is the connection point we can simply uh, left uh, press the left mouse button and extend it to this point right similarly we can uh, simply 
press the left mouse button and extend it to this point okay it means uh, now these input pins are connected to these gates right and uh, we can also label these pins okay so we can simply select this pin and here you will find under this selection tab here you will find the option sorry label so here we can name it this is a similarly you can do for this this is b okay press enter so now you can see the labels are also appearing over here similarly we'll do for the other options also here this is c okay and this one is d right so we have uh, labeled all the input pins similarly we can connect also uh, this this pin to this point okay and this one to this point right so uh, this part is completed okay so this is a b output will be a b and here output will be c d okay but our as per our logic expression we need to uh, implement a b plus c d plus e okay so fifth input is also required that is e so what we will take so, so how many uh, basically uh, inputs needs to be uh, pre present on in this or gate okay so three inputs basically so we will change uh, the number of input pins for or gate also three input pins okay one from here one from here and one uh, will be the input E. Okay, so we'll take more input, which is E. Okay, and we will label this also. Right, label this, and we will just extend this, and we will input over here. Okay, so we need to when we need to make a turn, so we need to leave at that point and then again extend it. Right. Uh, similarly we can connect this leave it over here and then again extend it okay and then join to this point similarly you can join okay to this point okay so I have connected okay uh, sometimes some if uh, some mistakes uh, occurred right so that also you can remove simply you need to select that point and okay so here some point is there I need to select this and just the delete okay otherwise what we can do we can simply just extend this okay so here we can see this is the extra edge so we'll delete this point okay and now we require one output pin also okay so we'll take one output pin over here okay and then connect this to this point okay so now we have connected so this uh, way we have designed our uh, so this also needs to be labeled so here the label this is the output so we are labeling it as y okay so y is equals to a b plus c d plus e okay so we have designed this and we can see the truth table also for this okay so for seeing the truth table we can simply go to projects right and then go to analyze circuit and here you can see this we have designed a b plus c d plus e this is the logic expression right the output is there and here we can see the various tabs wherein we can see these are the inputs five inputs one output y and this is your table right so you can see uh, this total 16 number of entries will be there in the uh, sorry yeah, it will be more right it will be 2 to the power 5 means how many entries 32 entries right so this is the uh, expression uh, uh, truth table for this logic circuit okay so we can also change the input and output we can simply click and change the number over here if we want to do some customization we can see the logic expression also we can see the minimization minimized form of this logic expression also so here this is the already minimized so that's why it is appearing a b plus c d plus c e. 
so we can see two formats also sop as well as pos okay so from here also you can build the circuit just press on build uh, it will build the circuit over here okay with two options uh, let me just open this build circuit so it will ask you whether to use only two input gates as we have used or uh, to use the nine gates for implementing the given logic expression so one of the option you can select and the circuit name you can provide and simply click ok it will automatically generate the circuit okay so this path i am not going to uh, do okay because we have already designed the circuit now close this okay so this way we can see uh, we have successfully implemented the given logic expression okay sometimes you will see uh, these edges may appear in a red color okay so it means some uh, error is there right uh, maybe uh, due to input okay that can be passed number of bits that can be passed uh, through that pin okay so that you need to take care okay so those things we will discuss in our next video okay so i hope i made this clear to all of you so thank you everyone for watching this video uh, bye bye we will see you in the next video thank you so much